Welcome to Sushmita's Voice. Today's story is The Hack Driver. Story in a nutshell. The story, The Hack Driver, is the story of a hack driver called Oliver Lutkins. He lived at New Mullen. He was an important witness in a court case. The law firm wrote many letters to him, but he did not appear before the court. At last, the firm sent a young lawyer to New Millennium to issue summons to Lutkins. The junior assistant clerk did not recognize Lutkins. Lutkins met him at the station. He took the assistant clerk all over the town in search of Lutkins, although he himself was Lutkins. He could not serve the summons to Lutkins. He had to return back to the city. But the owner of the legal firm knew him, sent him back to New Million. He could serve the summons to Lutkins this time, but did he do it or was he a real smart? About the author, Harry Sinclair Lewis was a famous American novelist, short story writer and a playwright. He was the first writer from the United States who had received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1930. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for his vigorous and graphic art of description. He created his characters with wit and humor. His first book, Hike and the Aeroplane, was published in 1912 under the pseudonym Tom Graham. He was born on February 7, 1885 in Minnesota, USA. The plot of the story. The hack driver is the story of a very cunning manipulator, Bill. It also shows that appearances are often deceptive. Once the narrator, a junior clerk in a law firm, had to go to New Marion to serve summon to Oliver Lutkins. There he met Bill, the hack driver. When the narrator asked about Oliver Lutkins, Bill took him to Fritz, who replied that Oliver had been there a while ago. Bill, who was Oliver Lutkins himself, made a plan to befool the narrator in a very friendly but subtle way. Bill manipulated the two, taking the lawyer around the village. He arranged meetings with Fritz, Gustav's shop owner, a barber, etc. Then Bill took him to Oliver Lutkin's mother, who was a terrible huge woman who threatened to beat them. At last, he returned disappointed. He couldn't trace Oliver Lutkins. His boss rebuked him badly and asked him to go back to New Malian with a person who knew Lutkins. When they reached there, he found Bill and Lutkins' mother together. The man recognized Lutkins. He told that Bill, no one but Lutkins himself. The theme of the story. After passing graduation, the narrator became a junior assistant clerk in a law farm. His duty was to serve summons to the people regarding the court cases. He hated his unpleasant work. He had to visit the dirty corners of the city. Once he was asked to go to New Mullion to serve summons to Oliver Lutkins, it was 40 miles away from that place. He reached there by train. He hired a hack at the rate of $2 per hour. The narrator took the hack driver that he wanted to see Oliver Lutkins. The hack driver himself was the same person whom the narrator was looking for, but he did not recognize him. The hack driver told him that his name was Bill or Magnuson, and everybody called him Bill. He told the narrator that Lutkins would be playing poker, a game in the back of Fritz's shop. They went there but could not find Lutkins there. Then they went to Gutsup's shop. Fritz had told them that Lutkins had gone there for a shave. When they arrived there, they were informed that Lutkin had not come there. Later, they went to Gray's shop, who told them that Lutkins had just gone away five minutes ago to the pool room. They reached the pool room. There, they were told that Lutkins had come there, but he had just bought a packet of cigarettes and gone away. It was 1 p.m. by then. They were feeling hungry, but Bill suggested that the narrator, they should enjoy their lunch at Wade's Hill. Bill got the lunch packed from his wife and they enjoyed it on the hilltop. While sitting on the hilltop, Bill talked about his town's people in details. He talked about the minister's wife, the college students and the lawyer's wife. 
the narrator came to know better about the town. Then they got down from the hilltop. Bill told the narrator that Lutkins would have gone to his mother's farmhouse three kilometers away in the north. He said that his mother was a terror. He narrated him his experience with Lutkins' mother. They reached there and inquired Lutkins' mothers about his whereabouts. She ran after them with an iron rod in her hand. But anyhow, they could manage to examine the whole house but could not find him there. It was nearly time for the narrator to catch the afternoon train and Bill drove him to the station. On the way to the city, the narrator was worried very little over his failure to find Latkins. He was busy thinking about Bill Magnuson. He was considering returning to New Mullen to practice law. When the narrator told the owner of the firm that he could not trace out Lutkins, he got very angry. They were badly in need of Lutkins the next morning. He asked the narrator to return back to the New Millennium. Immediately, he sent another person with the narrator who recognized Lutkins. But when they arrived at New Mullen station, Bill was standing at the station near his carriage. The author recognized him as Bill Magnuson, but the other man said that it was Oliver Lutkins, the trolleter. The narrator was very much surprised. He served as his summons. The justification of the title, The Hack of a Driver, is a short story by Sinclair Lewis. The title, The Hack Driver, is considered to the situation of the story. The actual meaning of hack driver is a taxi driver. A taxi driver takes people from place to place and helps them to reach their destination. The title is completely in accordance with the plot of the story. The story has three main characters. One is the narrator himself. The second is Oliver Lutkins. The narrator wants to find Oliver. He had never been, never seen Oliver before. The third character is Bill Magnuson. It is Bill who creates the confusion and creates twists in the story. He tries to help the narrator to find Oliver. He takes the narrator from one place to another in search of Oliver and at the end it is revealed to the narrator that Bill is actually the Oliver he had been looking for. Bill takes the narrator and banders here and there so the title of the story is completely justified. Sinclair Lewis the hack driver is about Oliver Lutkins, who is the witness of a case, appears to be a cunning man, who refused to appear as a witness. A young lawyer is appointed in order to search for Lutkins, where he meets the hack driver and helps the lawyer to search for Lutkins. As the lawyer fails to find Lutkins when the, cause, when the case came up in court, he was asked to go to New Mullen. Later, the lawyer discovers that Latkins was the hack driver and by this he becomes shocked and feels humiliated. Therefore, he learns on not being haste while find, judging someone. A later, lawyer, uh, a later lawyer learns from Bill that Latkins is great in deceiving people as he played poker a lot. The Lawyer The narrator is an ambitious young man who is unhappy with his job. The narrator was supposed to serve summons he felt like a cheap private detective while doing so. The narrator doesn't like city life and often thinks of running away to his hometown. Gullible as he trusts Bill easy. The narrator judges someone easily. His lack in sight fooled by Bill. Conned by the hack driver, he felt cheated. He was creative and had expectations from life. The blogger's opinion question. Is it really a fun task to fool someone? Do you think that proving that one is cunning also shows that he doesn't bother about the need we all serve in the society? How would you react if you were at the position of the lawyer? Please comment below in the comment section.